Hello everyone, Mrs. Ang here. Reading is so much fun. Today, we are going to read a story entitled My Cockum Called Today, written by Iris Lewin, illustrated by Gloria Miller. When I came home from school today, my mom said, Your cockum called today. There's a round dance on the reserve. She wants us to come home this weekend. Neato squeetal, I said. Are we leaving right away? Yes, so move it, kid. We have a long way to go. Hurry, pack a bag. Don't forget your new moccasins. You can wear them to the dance. My mom and I live in a big city. My Kokum lives on an Indian reserve 200 miles away. My Kokum is a Cree Indian. Kokum means grandmother in Cree. I bet you'd like my Kokum. She is the kindest person I know. She always gives me a hug and a big kiss when she sees me. I love her very much. She speaks Cree to me. I don't understand very much Cree, but I'm learning. She says, as to my girl, that means, come here. It makes me feel special when she says, my girl. And you know what I like best? Best of all, I like it when she calls me baby. I think it's the greatest. I'm almost 12 years old and my cocum still calls me baby. Kakum is an elder. People respect her because she is wise. She knows a lot about living. She has been around for a long, long time. She is a very generous person. She shares with everybody on the reserve. She helps people who are sick. My Kakum knows which plants are good for healing people. Sometimes, she takes me for long walks in the bush. She holds my hand and tells me about when she was a little girl. She shows me which plants are good for making medicine. She says, I am to listen carefully. Someday, people might ask me to help them when they are sick. My Kokum is always busy. She makes moccasins and beaver mitts. She picks raspberries, blueberries, and cranberries. She makes jam from the berries. Then she makes the best bannock in the whole world. She lets me help. 
You've never tasted anything as yummy as Cockum's bannock and jam. Hey, Keto, hurry up! If you don't get moving, we're going to get stuck in the Friday rush hour traffic. Come on, let's go! Oh boy, guess I was daydreaming. All I need now are my moccasins. Cockum made these for my birthday. They are so beautiful and smell so good. My uncle Percy shot a moose last fall. Cockum and her friends tanned the hide. They work very hard to make the hide so soft. My moccasin smells smoky like a campfire. Round dances are the greatest. Everyone goes. Really old people, young people, teeny tiny babies, and their families go. Everyone goes to a round dance. People come from many different reserves. We dance in a circle holding hands. The drummers sing and drum all night. We dance until the sun comes up. Sometimes I fall asleep. My cockum lets me sleep beside her on the bench. She covers me with her dancing shawl. My uncle always teased me when I fall asleep. They say Cockum makes them carry me home rather than wake me up. They say I'm getting too heavy for them to carry me anymore. They laugh and say it's because I eat too much bannock. I can't wait to see my uncles and aunts and cousins. We haven't been home since Uncle Smokey got married two months ago. And we can see Aunt Alice's new baby. Hurry, Mom! Let's go! I'm so glad Kokum called today. Come on, Mom! Let's go! And that's the end of the story. All right, boy. All right, everybody. Spread the love and peace to everyone. Bye for now. See you next time.